Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. Today, we're gonna do a video about pig food. So if this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. All right, folks, so a lot of questions as far as like, what's the best way to feed your pigs and what's the least costly and everything like that. And I know Mr. Silly P has a video out about where to buy stuff and everything. We'll cover all that in this video as well. But I'm also gonna go over some other mods as well that aren't just buying points for pig food. And we're also gonna talk about, you know, making your own pig food as, as opposed to selling your crops in easy mode, normal mode and hard mode. So we're gonna go over everything like that. So the first two options, or the first thing we're gonna go over in this video, um, essentially part one is going to be just all the places you can just buy pig feed straight up just buying pig feed itself so um, the first option is obviously in the store there are two options in the store so the first one is going to be standard in game not a mod it is the the pig food big bag and that is going to be one thousand dollars per one thousand liters it's a thousand dollars for one of these which is a thousand liters the second option is going to be the the pallets mod or the pioneer pallets mod and this is going to give you this pallet right here which costs um shoot, I don't even know the total cost, but it's 2,400 liters and it's going to add up to 688 liters per, or $688 per 1,000 liters. So per 1,000 liters in this pallet, you're only paying 688. And this is actually um, a lot cheaper, obviously, than that. So, and if you don't already know in FS19, you can simply hit R and load these guys up. Right now it's loading up the big bag. That's why you can transport a lot back and you don't have to transport them in pallets. So and now it's loading up the pallet. So this is a very easy way just to fill up uh, pig food in FS19 if you wanted to buy it in a pallet form. So now the next thing we're going to look at is a couple of modded buy points or uh, sell points that you're able to buy pig feed in bulk from. So we'll go over those next. So the first option of those bulk buy points is going to be here in the No Man's Land modded map by Alien Jim. So this is a bulk buy point where you can buy a lot of different things. So here I have pig feed loaded up. So I was able to buy 4,000 liters of pig feed for one or $11,199. So essentially that divides out to it being uh, right around $3,000 per 1,000 liters. So a fairly expensive price there. All right, and we'll continue. The second option is going to be the food and fertilizer shop mod. And that's going to run you $1,540, $1,540 per 1,000 liters of pig food. The third option is going to be the multi-filling station mod, which is going to be $1,540 per 1,000 liters. And in case you're wondering, it is the same price for the Black Edition and the regular one. Fourth, you have the placeable buying stations. There's one for all-in-one and one for pig feed. The all-in-one one, of course, has pig feed in it. The price is the same in both, and you are looking at $700 per 1,000 liters. So not bad. Your fifth and final bulk buying option is the pig food trading system. And of course, um, this one's also going to give you a decent price. This is $700 per 1,000 liters if you buy it here. So the same thing as the placeable buying station. And again, I'm going to put all of this information into a nice, easy to read chart. And I'll go over that chart later towards the end of this video. And there'll be a link to that in Google Drive down below in the description. So if you want this chart just available to you, click that. Another thing to note this is just what's available now as of when I'm recording this, which is about mid-April in 2020. So it could vary, obviously. Also remember that these two guys, so that's this guy, the multi-buying uh, station, and this guy right here, which is also a multi-filling station, is what they're both titled. They do not sell pig feed. So do not expect to get pig feed out of either of these guys. Matter of fact, the only things this one sells is uh, lime, solid fertilizer, and seeds. So just be aware of that. If you're trying to get pig food, um, these two were not something I didn't test. They just didn't have pig food available. So that's everything as far as ways to purchase pig food. The next thing we're going to move into is alternative ways to get pig feed. And some of these may be cheaper, and some of them it just means that this is something that's available to you if your farm's already geared toward or if it's something you want to plan to gear your farm towards in the future. So that's what we're going to go over next. Before we go into alternative ways to handle pig food, there's one other thing I want to go over. If you are just going to add the four different crop categories into the pig feed trough by yourself using your own crops that you're producing, here is kind of the pricing you're looking at uh, depending on what economic difficulty. And what I mean is you're not actually obviously buying the crops and putting them in there, but this is taking a look at the average sell price, so the average, so there could be a low and a high, obviously, in each of these categories, but the average sell price, so we're looking at what you would get inside the shop for each, uh, for the cheapest of each of the categories. For example, the first category, the cheapest is barley of the pig feed meter. Um, 
And for example, the category that has sugar beets and potatoes, sugar beets are obviously cheaper and they both do the job. So I'm taking a look at the cheapest option in each category and it's the average price. It's not the high price, it's not the low price. And obviously prices fluctuate and there's great demands and everything like that, but I don't have all that kind of included in here because that'd be too much um, to add. So if you're playing an easy economic difficulty, if you take an equal amount of all those different crops and you sold them instead of feeding your pigs, you would make approximately $937 per 1,000 liters on average. In normal difficulty or normal economic mode, you're going to get $587 per 1,000 liters. And then in hard economic mode, you're looking at 312. So depending on what you want to do, it may end up being cheaper or not cheaper to buy the pig feed yourself or to feed the pigs yourself. So it's kind of something you have to weigh in, but those are those numbers for you. And an example of that is what I mean. If you're buying the big bags at $1,000 per 1,000 liters, no matter what mode of difficulty it on, it's almost cheaper or almost always going to be cheaper for you to just fill the pig troughs yourself. So you just feed your pigs yourself and you're going to end up saving money. However, if you're playing on hard mode, it's almost always going to be worth it or it really is always worth it for you to fill up the pig trough on your own using your own crops. It's going to be much cheaper. Now, again, I'm not calculating in the cost of the equipment you need to grow all these different crops and the harvesters you're going to need and everything like that. So you do have to weigh that in. Um, and I'm not calculating the leasing costs or any of that, but I'm just telling you kind of straight up, here's the pricing. So the next thing we're going to look at is some more specific or different or other ways that you can produce pig feed kind of as a result or on the side of what your normal farming is. So we're gonna go over each of these machines. They're all mods, none of these are standard in game and kind of their pricing and kind of what the advantages of each of these. All right, the next option to get pig feed is gonna be using the global company mod and specifically two uh, mods within that that work together. So the first one is the potato washer and the second one is the potato sorter. So what you do, is you take potatoes that you've harvested then using either a belt or a front loader bucket, you dump them into here you put water into the device here, just backing up a water trailer. And then here, you can either put a front loader below, which is what I recommend, or fill them into a trailer. And I'll explain why I recommend that in a second. And essentially this over time will work through and spit out washed potatoes. Then you take the washed potatoes, you dump them into the back of the potato sorter using again, either a belt or a front loader bucket or some sort of telehander bucket. You I mean, you get the idea. Um, over here, you can uh, place a front loader bucket underneath, which is actually kind of how you have to unload it, um, at least I, as far as I can tell. And then it will dispense premium potatoes, which can be sold for a premium price, obviously. And actually, let me slow down the time before it gets dark here. Okay, so that's what you have going on with that. Once the washed potatoes go through, you're getting now premium potatoes out here, um, and then it'll produce some pig feed. So essentially it gets rid of the, the potatoes that aren't great, and it gives them here so you can uh, feed them to your pigs. And it's not just bad potatoes that you can now feed to your pigs. It literally comes out as pig food, so it'll satisfy all the elements of pig food, all four of the feed categories. However, starting from here, the amount of potatoes you have to place in here, wash, get out that side, and dump into here and sort through, and obviously they don't all make it through. So you get a certain percent here, which is the, uh, most of them come out as premium potatoes and the other small portion will come out as um, as pig feed. So it takes approximately 12,232 potatoes to put into here and put through this machine in order to get 1,000 liters of pig food. So this is not a super efficient way. And honestly, um, if you're going to do enough to feed a significant amount of pigs, you're probably going to have to have multiple machines going just because of how much time it's going to take, because these aren't just instant processors, they take time to process. Now, given they're relatively quick compared to some global company mods, so they are uh, relatively quick processing. Um, and this guy can only hold 4,000 liters at a time. And I mean, you see down there in the bottom right-hand corner, it has 1,309 liters of pig food. And to get that, I put 16,000 potatoes through. So after doing the math, that was how I got to about 12,232 potatoes. So um, yeah, that's kind of how it works here. Um, that's, that is another option for you. So if you end up doing potatoes already, just do this. And then if you look in here, we'll go into the menu, go over to sell points. There we go. Premium potatoes be down here at the end. That's what premium potatoes are worth $700 per 1000 liters. So that's a much better price. So just be aware of that. Um, this is your first alternative option to getting pig feed. And let me add this as well. So if we go into the um, menu here, we'll go to the potato, that says potato washer, but that's actually the potato sorter. We'll open that, click on this guy, 
we should be able to click on the pig food, not that, but click on this, and then uh, plus spawn one pallet. And it'll spawn a thousand liter pallet. So you have to have at least a thousand liters in here to spawn out a pallet. But then if we hop out, as long as there's space there, here's a pallet of a thousand liters of pig food or a big bag. So that's how that works, folks. It's pretty easy to use. So that is, again, your first alternative option to getting pig feed. All right, we're going to go ahead and jump into the next option. All right, the next way to do pig feed is going to be the Agraz mod. So if we go into the store, it actually adds its own section. It has objects in here, which is a just a forage big pack, but uh, more importantly, in placeables, it adds all sorts of options. So there's stuff in here for cow food, um, which I didn't look at. I'm just doing pig feed. Obviously, it's a pig feed video. I might do one later on cow feed, but that'll be a different day. So I'm looking at all the stuff needed for pig food. So this here is a big pig food mixer. You can easily dump all the stuff in here, and we hop in here. We can fill up with the pig feed from that pipe right there. So the options for this guy to make pig food is it will either make a comfort, what's called a comfort living uh, pig food or a fattening feed. So if we go control G, we'll go into pig feed mixer, open the overview menu. And this is part of the global company mod. You'll need that as far as like, it's how it functions is off of that. But Agra's uh, food mod is separate. Um, so comfort lining and fattening feed. So these are the two different options. They both produce pig food. So the same, they both produce the same output. It just depends on what you want to put in them. So for the comfort lining, you need cooked potatoes, which we'll go over how to get those in a second, canola or sunflower and maize, which is corn. So those are the three things you need. The fattening feed, you need beet pulp and cereal meal, which we'll go over how to get both of those as well. And you need soybeans. Not sure why there's a J there. My guess is that is how it is spelled in a different country. Uh, anyhow, um, so about this, first let's talk about how to get those three products that we have not seen before. So if you run over to the first guy on our list here, this is a grain mill. So using either a uh, conveyor belt or a front loader, you dump grain into here and it takes wheat, barley, and oats. So those are your options for input here. You take either wheat, barley, or oats, put them in here. Um, it also takes water and diesel. So you have to add those as well. Um, there is an option and I found it just to be the easiest option. Um, I actually tried to put a diesel trailer here. I tried that guy right there and I could not get it to take diesel. So I ended up having to just buy it. And by buy it, I mean, if we go into the seasons or not the seasons, the um, global company mod, this is the, where is it at? The grain grinder. So we go up here, open overview menu. So we can just hit this and you can buy um, or sorry, this doesn't take water. This just takes diesel. That's my bad. So you yeah, can just buy diesel in here. So there's an option for you. And then again, it takes wheat, barley, and oats. So what this produces is um, the cereal mill. And it is a one-to-one -one ratio. Now it takes out a certain level of diesel. I believe the max is 10,000. It took 80 liters of diesel to produce 8,000 um, liters of uh, cereal mill. Yes, it says 4,000. I took 4,000 over to the uh, pig food mixer. So I put 8,000 liters of barley in here and I got 8,000 liters of cereal mill. So essentially it's a, you get a 1,000 for 1,000 kind of ratio per 1,000 liters of barley, wheat, or oats you put into this, you're going to get 1,000 liters of cereal mill out of it. Um, and I would, if you're going to do this route, I would recommend using barley just because it's the cheapest out of wheat, barley, and oats. So just use barley to get the product. It's the cheapest. Um, if we move on over here to the potato washer, this one's going to be a little bit more to it. Um, and 3,200, so I'll explain all that in a second. So right here, using a either a belt or a front loader attachment, you need to put just regular old potatoes, plain potatoes, not washed potatoes or anything. You're just putting potatoes straight off the field, potatoes into here. You need to put diesel into here and water into here. I did not try to add water myself. Um, I tried the diesel, could not get it to take diesel again. So what I did is I put 8,000 liters of potatoes in here to see what I get out of it. So I got, um, out of, after putting 8,000 liters of potatoes in here, I got 7,200 liters of cooked potatoes and 800 liters of compost. So it's a one-to-one -one ratio what you get out of it, but you get compost, which I'll explain what compost is used for later. So you essentially get per 1,000 liters of potatoes you put in here, you're going to get 900 liters of potatoes or cooked potatoes out and 100 liters of compost. So that's how you get that there. Um, and we'll move past our food mixer here over to the beet grinder, which is the final option or final um, additive. And this also doubles as a storage facility. So you can use it to store um, sugar beets. So here you're going you're gonna to just put regular sugar beets in. Um, this thing requires diesel as well, and there should be a diesel point. 
somewhere on it. Maybe not. This one you're probably just going to have to buy again anyways. I couldn't get these to take it, so I just bought it. And it's not like it's unreasonable. The price for diesel is uh, pretty pretty regular. So, oh, this may, there's the diesel right there. Um, so there's your diesel level right there. So, and this is storage. So you'd set that in there, plus it has diesel. And then you can either get the, and it produces compost and sugar beet pulp. So you can either get the pulp from backing a trailer under here and the compost from backing a trailer under there, or you can pull a trailer under this pipe and just fill up either compost or sugar beet pulp from here. So I put 8,000 liters of sugar beets in here. This is plain sugar beet straight off the field. And I got 6,400 liters of beet pulp and 1,600 liters of compost. So per 1,000 liters of beets you put in here, you're gonna get 800 liters of sugar beet pulp and 200 liters of compost. And compost is used um, exactly as manure. You put it in a manure spreader and it gets spread on a field as a fertilizer state as manure. So that's just kind of like an added product that you get out of this as well. Um, so the next thing we're gonna talk about is those two feed mixes again and what they took. So what I did to test this is there's, since there's three items required in each category, so three items for comfort living feed and fattening feed, which both produce just regular pig feed, but they're just different recipes. I put 4,000 liters of each of the three categories for each of the, essentially, so if we just, it'll just be easier to go in here and explain it. So um, for the comfort living, I put three or 4,000 liters of cooked potatoes, 4,000 of canola, which if you're gonna do this, use canola, it's cheaper compared to sunflower. And I put 4,000 liters of corn. For the fattening feed, 4,000 liters, 4,000 liters, and 4,000 liters of soybeans. So what I got out of that, and I'll talk about that now, so, to make 18,000 liters of pig food, it took 4,000 liters of cooked potatoes, plus 1,600 liters of canola, plus 2,400 liters of corn. So, and all this is gonna be in a chart available to you. I will put a link down there and we're gonna talk about the chart at the end. So if you're lost or confused and there's a lot going on, don't worry about it. We're gonna go over it all in more detail in a chart just to kind of help you organize it into a thought. So that's 8,000 liters of material. So there's still leftover materials in here. I let it go until it stopped. And this one, potatoes were the, uh, the cooked potatoes were the stopping factor, the one that's required the most of. Um, so it took 8,000 liters of items. So there you go, 8,000 liters of items. And you got 18,000 liters of pig food. So way more than what you put in. So yes, you have to go through an extra step, but you're probably gonna save a ton of money if you use this system just because of that huge ratio increase. Because if you're feeding pigs normally in a pig pen and putting all the feed in separately, the different types, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So you're putting in one potato to get one, you know, you know, you're putting a thousand potatoes in to get a thousand liters of, you know, pig feed inside your pen. So this is gonna be much more efficient. It was almost, it was a little less efficient for the fattening feed. Um, and I'll explain that now. So the fattening feed requires beet pulp plus cereal milk plus soybeans. So I put 4,000 of each in. It took all 4,000 liters of beet pulp. It took 3,000 liters of cereal meal, and it took um, 3,000 liters of soybeans. So 10,000 total liters of material, and it again produced 18,000 liters of pig feed. So a little less efficient uh, compared to the comfort living, especially since there's two specialty machines you need. So the um, potato cooker, the beet pulp grinder deal, this guy over here, and then the cereal grinder, the cereal mill, each of those buildings cost $25,000 a piece. Plus, you have to pay for this thing, which is another $100,000. So that's the main deficit is there's a huge cost to buy this stuff and get it going right away. So um, that might be something to kind of consider for you. Um, however, if you're going to do it probably the cheapest way possible with the best outcome, just buy the, cook the potato cooker for $25,000 and buy this and then grow canola and corn. And if you do that, you have everything you need to use this mod and to make a ton of pig feed. So there's an option for you. And I haven't done any of the math to see like, well, if you have the pig trading system, can you now sell pig feed after you create it? So maybe it's like a crop. Maybe you're not raising pigs, but you're doing this to make money. So just be aware. Their options are pretty, pretty endless on this as far as how you do this. Um, as far as ways to make pig feed and stuff like that, there is also a mixer here, which I'm going to test. My assumption is that this mixer is just going to put straight pig feed out in a one-to-one -one ratio, but I'm going to test that. So I'll be back with you after I get that done. All right. So I added 4,000 liters of barley, the cheapest option of the grains, 4,000 liters of sugar beets, the cheapest options of the root crops. And I added 4,000 liters of canola, the cheapest of those higher value crops between sunflower, soybeans, and canola. So the outcome of this, and you can probably already kind of tell on the screen, it took 
4,000 liters of canola, all of it, and 4,000 liters of barley, all of it. And but it only took 2,000 liters of the sugar beets, and it made 10,000 liters of pig food. So it's a one-to-one -one ratio as far as 1,000 liters of um, pig food, or excuse me, 1,000 liters of um, yeah, pig food per 1,000 liters of crops. However, it's going to use uh, the canola, soy, sunflower category and the wheat, barley, oat category more than it's going to use um, the potato, sugar beet category by twice as much. You can use twice as much of those crops. So there's that for you. Um, that is going to be everything as far as different mods and options for you to mix pig feed, to make pig feed, and everything like that. So these are all the different mods. Um, there is one final thing, though, I am going to go check, and I'm going to do that right now. All right, so what I've done here is I've taken a pig pen, placed it, and put 10 pigs in it. And I filled up until it wouldn't let me fill anymore the this category of food with sugar beets, only sugar beets. That's all I put in there. I put 9,000 liters of sugar beets. So um, that obviously only gives you 5% effectiveness, so I want these other three. So I have a trailer of pig food, and it's going to let me load that in. Now, if we go into the menu, it's only filling these three crop areas. Why does that matter? Sugar beets are extremely cheap. They're the cheapest of all of the options. And if you remember, pig feed is going to spread out. Now, the lowest number does go down here, so most of it goes up here anyways. But pig feed only is going to work or is going to work throughout all of this if this has any space in it. So it's going to fill this as well. So if you fill this first and then use pig feed, you're going to get all of these guys here. And if you have a lot of barley, fill barley, fill sugar beets, you're going to get the pricier things if you keep working that way. Essentially, you're kind of multiplying your money a little bit um, or making it more efficient. Um, actually, in one of my gameplay series in No Man's Land, I'm going to do this very thing. I'm going to do a sugar beet harvest, load this thing up with sugar beets, and then I'm going to use pig feed and fill the rest of these. So that's another option for you to save a little bit of money. So the final thing I need to go over with you is these charts. These are just some simple, easy charts that I made that can help you kind of navigate everything. Um, and sometimes these charts are a little confusing, even though they're supposed to make it easier. And that's why I wanted to quickly explain them. And these will all be available. There'll be a simple one, and then there'll be an advanced one, and they'll be available in a Google Drive link that will allow you to view them and print them and do whatever you want. Um, and that will be in the description below. So first here, I have the pig feed cost chart, and this is the simple version. Um, and I'll show you the advanced one in a second. So it has the different purchase options. So it has a big bag at 1,000 liters, pallet at 688, food and fertilizer shop and multi-filling station at 1540, placeable buying stations, and pig food trading system at 700, no man's land bulk buy a point at 3,000. It also has the uh, crop price average um, for each economic difficulty level. So that'd be like what you would sell the crops needed or a thousand liters of each of the crops needed to feed your pigs. So it kind of gives you a little bit of a comparison. Um, and down here at the bottom, it has a couple of disclaimers. So if it has an asterisk next to it, obviously it's a, a mod. So the only thing that's in game standard is the big bag for pig feed. Um, and then the two asterisks next to the no man's land buying pump, excuse me, the no man's land bulk buy point is obviously it's on a modded map. You're not going to get that on another map um, unless alien Jim decides to make a modded version. So there's that for you. Um, the next part that I want to go over is basic is the second part of the basic um, chart. And so this just has, as far as if you remember on the, on the first part of it, it had those economic prices. These are the averages that I used per 1000 liters. So if you want to know how I got that information, this is the average that I used. So you can see what information I was using to calculate that. Um, if you disagree with it or have other ones, then you can calculate your own information and decide what you want. This is kind of what I used as the average prices. Now we're going to move on to the advanced uh, pig food cost charts. This looks a lot more uh, kind of scary or a lot more uh, advanced. It's really not that complicated. So it has the the five places that aren't like in store standard or mods in store that you buy. These are the five places you can place in maps, except for the no man's land bulk buy point. You can't place that. It's in the map. So these are the essentially the four placeable items or four placeable mods that you can buy pig feed at and then no man's land is in there so again just like the previous chart has it has the cost per thousand liters then i also added the build cost in and now the final portion of the chart has a hundred thousand two hundred thousand three hundred thousand and four hundred thousand so essentially what i did to calculate is if you paid 700 so for the first one placeable buying stations you're paying 700 dollars per 1000 liters plus you had to pay fifteen thousand dollars to build that buying station now obviously you can cheat in fifteen thousand dollars uh easy and then just place that and then have it 700 so essentially if you you know what i did for math wise is i took the 700 dollars multiplied it by 100 to equal the cost for 100,000 liters and then i added fifteen thousand to that total and divided that by 100 and essentially what that means is the 850 
in that first column is how much you're paying per 1000 liters if you paid to place that buy point and you're only going to buy 100,000 liters. Now, obviously, this cost goes down as you see as it progresses um, until you get closer and closer to $700. So if you buy 400,000 liters and you're paying for that $15,000 uh, point there, you're going to end up paying an average of $738 total per 1000 liters. And I just, that's how the rest of the chart works. This is just because you kind of have to include, um, the buying costs. And that's why it's really important. If you look at pig food trading system, that's a $75,000 buy point that you have to place. So if you look at, if you're only buying a hundred thousand liters of pig food, you're now paying 1450 per 1000 liters because of how expensive that buy point is. So keep that in mind when you're thinking about things like this, as far as price and everything goes. Um, so I just have all that in there. Obviously, no man's land doesn't cost anything. So it's $3,000 straight across the board, still the most expensive option. So, um, yeah, there's that. Um, the next thing I want to go over is the second part of my advanced chart, and that's the pig feed alternative method. So the first of those is the potato washer and potato sorter, which are as part of the global company mod. So you need the global company mod, then you add the potato washer and potato sorter as separate mods on top of that. So the potato washer costs $18,000. If you put a thousand liters of potatoes in it, you're going to get a thousand liters of washed potatoes. The potato sorter costs $2,800, a lot cheaper. If you put 1,000 liters of washed potatoes in it, you're going to get 918 liters of premium potatoes and 82 liters of pig feed. And I did two lines on this because I wanted to show you what it would take to get 1,000 liters of pig feed, and I wanted to show you how many pig feed you could get from 1,000 liters of potatoes. So per 1,000 liters of potatoes you put into this machine, you're only going to get 82 liters of pig feed out. However, you're now getting premium potatoes, which sell for about twice the cost, if not more, um, if you're selling potatoes. So if you have a potato farm, this is a fantastic mod. Um, if you're trying to play super realistic, um, this honestly isn't that unrealistic. If you have machines that are going to take better care of the potatoes and they're going to be in a more premium form than selling them as just, because essentially what you're going to do if you sell the potatoes straight off the field, they're full of dirt and junk and everything like that. The reason they're not getting a whole lot of money for them is because a company's going to clean them, bag them, package them, everything like that. So they're going to have to do some of the stuff anyways. And any of the non-premium potatoes or the potatoes that aren't in as good a shape, they're just going to have to chuck them out. So this is actually a pretty realistic mod, I think. Um, in that second category, it shows that to get a thousand liters of pig feed, so one full big bag, um, you're going to need to put 12,232 12, liters of potatoes into the potato washer. And then after they come out of the potato washer, you put those into the potato sorter. So there's that for you. Um, I just thought that would be kind of helpful to have that. And now finally, the one that's kind of going to be, I think the most helpful, or at least if you're going to, if you're going to use this method, it's going to be the most helpful is going to be the third part of my advanced, uh, charts. So this is the Agraz, uh, animal feed mod. So it has the, the four buildings in that mod that apply to pig feed, the grain grinder, potato cooker, beet shredder, and pig food mixer. So the grain grinder costs you $25,000. And what you're going to input into that is a thousand liters of barley, wheat, or oats, plus diesel fuel. I think per thousand liters, I think it's like eight liters of diesel fuel. So it's like inconsequential for diesel fuel. Um, so, and I, again, I recommend doing barley since that's the cheapest of those crops. But again, if you'd have wheat or oats available, it is what it is. And then you're going to get a thousand liters of cereal meal straight out. So it's a thousand for a thousand. The potato cooker costs $25,000, just like the green grinder. You're going to put a thousand liters of potatoes in it. You're going to put diesel fuel again, not very much. And you are going to put a significant amount of water in it. Not as much as potatoes, but a few hundred liters. But typically on maps, you can either place a buy point for pretty cheap that allows you to get unlimited free water, or you can just get it on the map for free already. So usually that's not really a cost uh, issue. And then the output is going to be 900 liters of cooked potatoes and a hundred liters of compost. So essentially, um, you're only going to get 90% of the potatoes out of that, but you're going to get compost, which you can use as fertilizer, or I believe there's actually some buy points for it as well that you can have. So you can just sell it separately. Then you have the beet shredder. It's also going to cost $25,000 like the previous two buildings. It's you're going to put input a thousand liters of sugar beets plus a small amount of diesel fuel. And you're gonna get 800 liters of beet pulp and 200 liters of compost out of it. And now bought at the bottom, the pig food mixer is going to cost you a hundred thousand dollars. And there's two essentially two blends that you can put into the machine um, to get just pig feed. It all comes out as pig feed, but there's two different blends you have to meet. You can't in, uh, intermingle these. And obviously these aren't the ratios or the input ratios that I used um, in the video earlier, but I wanted to show you what it would take for each uh, recipe to get a thousand liters of pig food. And you can do the math for how much you think you're going to need for 10,000, everything like that. Just multiply it by 10. You guys can do that math on your own. This is just a guide. So for the comfort lining, you're going to insert 222 liters of cooked potatoes made by the potato cooker. Then you're going to also add 89 liters of canola or sunflower. Again, use canola. It's cheaper and you're going to add 133 liters of corn. In the menu, it says maize, which is just another word for corn. 
and then you're going to get a thousand liters of pig food out of that. So as you see, you're not putting a thousand liters of product in and you're getting a thousand liters out. So it's very, uh, a very good ratio there. For the fattening feed, the second option, you're going to put 222 liters of beet pulp in, 167 liters of cereal meal, and 167 liters of soybeans, and you're going to get 1,000 liters of pig food out. Again, you're not putting 1,000 liters of product into the machine to get 1,000 liters of pig food. This is the most cost-effective way to do massive, and it has to be massive because of the cost, the, up, the startup cost. If you're going to do massive amounts of pigs, this is probably your best option. So there's that for you. Well, guys, this is kind of the end of the episode um, or the end of everything I got going on today for this guide or this tutorial. So I hope it was helpful. I hope these charts are helpful. Again, the link's down below. Uh, go ahead and get those, save them on your computer, use them. They're going to be helpful for you. So um, I plan to make more videos where I have more charts like this that can kind of help you out and are available to you. So you have more kind of a reference guide, essentially, to certain things in Farming Simulator uh, to do with mods or regular gameplay. So again, if this video was helpful, please hit that like button. Please subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. If notifications annoy you, then don't hit the notification bell. Um, but anyhow, um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or I missed anything in this video that you think is important, please drop a comment below. Again, this has been Farmer Cop. Thank you for watching.